All right, we're going to make a peer-to-peer -peer visitation phone using two IP phones. Got two Yay links and crossover cable. So this will not require a PBX IP server. Instead, you will wire the two phones together and they will be able to call each other. So we'll get them out of the box. Had a power cable. These are, uh, this model can be powered over PoE as well, but we're not going to do that because we're not going to connect to a switch. So we're not going to use the cable that comes with it. The bottom one is the handset. Plug in the power. Now this one's going to boot up and then we'll program that one. We'll program the second one and then we'll connect them together. shouldn't need a computer to program these. You can do it on a computer, but honestly it's probably easier this way if you're only going to use it for a visitation phone. So, I believe you can see that. Try to make it. All right. This is what it looked like booted up. First thing we're going to do is set this as uh, the IP address as number one, basically. So you hit menu, settings, 
advanced settings. Now, uh, the default password is the word admin. So you wanna make sure it's in lowercase here. And you say A, D, M. And then you push the number four three times. One, two, three. And then it's an I. And then you push the six twice to get N. And then you push OK. Ah, no account. We're going to set up the network. So we're setting up the WAN port. Go down and we're going to set up a static IPv4. So we're going to call this one 192. And then the star button is, is the period. 168.1.1. Okay. Sponsor our subnet. Our subnet's gonna be a 24, so we're gonna go 255.0. You could do a different subnet, but it's just whatever. Gateway, so 192.168.1.1. All right, now this one's set up. It's thinking apparently. Rebooting. And I will power up the other one. We will program the other one. Now you can order this phone on Amazon. Um, when you order this phone, it probably will not come with an AC adapter. So you will have to order that separately unless it says it's included. This model is meant to be um, PoE in normal circumstances. While we're waiting, we can open up our crossover cable. It doesn't have to be CAT6, it could be CAD5E. Alright, looks like this one's booted up. this one we're going to call this one the second one so it's going to get a different static ip go back menu settings advanced settings and then a d m i n okay network wan port then I push down, and then you choose you want to set up your uh, IPv4 address, and you want to choose static. So this is 192.168.1.2. Same subnet as before. And now we're going to say the other phone is the gateway so 192.168.1.1 so now this one's probably going to reboot this one must have different firmware 
was a little different. While we wait, we will plug in. So you're going to plug it into the internet jack. Can't really see it, but it's the one on the left. Right there. See it says internet. That's the one you want to plug it into on both phones. And on the second one, do the same thing. Alright. So, now, should be able to call between them. If you push the OK button, it'll tell you what the IP address is. So, if you forget mixed up on which phone is which. And then you push the X to go back. Alright, so we're going to dial. Um, we'll call on this one. We'll call the first phone. So, I'm going to dial it by typing in the IP address. So, that's 192.168.1.1. Now, and then you can hit send. And so now it's ringing that phone. But let's say you want to get this, you don't want to have people do that. Because that's kind of complicated for a lot of people. So instead you're going to um, create a hotline. So you, on the each phone you're going to tell it when the phone's off the hook to automatically call the other IP address. So you hit menu. We'll go back in here again. Settings. Advanced settings. A D M I N. Now we're going to go down to. Oh, maybe it's under. It must be under regular settings. Where, where is it then? Da, 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 da. Features. Features. That's what it's under. All right. So it's under features. Hotline. And then you say enter. Now, what hotline number do you want? This is the second phone, so I'm going to type in the IP address of the first phone. 192.168.1.1. Save. And then we'll do the same thing on this other one. Menu. Features. Hotline. 192.168.1.2. Go back. Alright, so I realized what I forgot. <clears throat> there is a delay. So it's a four second delay as a default. And uh, you might want to change that. I prefer to have it at zero. So that's uh, features. And you go back into hotline. And you push down and then you'll say hotline delay and I don't want any delay so I say zero save back exit and I'll do the same thing on the other one all right now it should work easily Figure that out Likewise, if you pick up this one, so there you go. So now you have a visitation phone set up. So all they have to do is pick up the receiver or they can push the speaker button and it will ring just the same. And that's how you make a visitation phone with two IP phones right out of the box. You just need a crossover cable, two IP phones, 
and power. And that should be it.